The issue around last irrigation is a complex one and it really there's two sides of the coin in, in making that decision. The need to ensure that you've got enough water there to fill the bowls, grow the crop and then not have the crop too stressed at the very end. So when we start to use harvest aids such as defoliants and bowl conditioners, they're hormones. We need the crop to be alive so they function effectively. The other side of the coin is we don't want to be wasting water and we don't want our soil conditions so wet that it actually might impede our harvest operation, leading to problems like compaction. And if the conditions start to go warm, we actually can encourage regrowth and have problems with our defoliation practice and increasing trash. We have to ask questions around the value of those last few bowls, given that they actually contribute very little to overall yield and quality. The things like compaction and those things these days will probably outweigh that little bit of yield gain that you might have by, by chasing that extra water. We use a simple principle of nodes above crack bowl to guide us in, in making this last irrigation decision. If we were actually out monitoring the crop today and we were at, at nine nodes above crack bowl and we were looking to actually defoliate, say at four nodes above crack bowl, we know that there are approximately three days to go from one crack bowl to the next. So that's 15 days. For our region, we, we get an estimate of the crop water use and it's generally lower at that time of year. So we estimate about five mils per day. So therefore, 15 days multiplied by five mils, which gives us 75 mils of water that we require to meet the end of season crop demands. If you are normally irrigating around a 90 mil deficit, you wouldn't actually need to irrigate because you've actually got enough water in the profile to finish that crop. Let's talk about the example where you would need an irrigation, 13 nodes above crack bowl. That's nine multiplied by three, which is 27 days. And again, if we assume our water use for this that time of year, that equates to about 135 mils of water. If you were working on a 90 mil deficit, you do need to irrigate that crop because you require 135 mils, which exceeds the 90 mil deficit. So the issue of last irrigation really is a, a complex one. And I think one of the take home messages is really to look at all the issues, lay them on the table, look at the pros and cons, we in the research community do realise it's a complex decision and you know, are working hard to come up with quantitative tools such as plant-based sensing, looking at using forecasts and models to give you better tools to assist with that decision.